Gary O'Neill, how do you sum that one up? Pretty tough day at the office, really. Yeah, it was tough. It was it was always going to be, um, regardless of, of where they are in the league. They're they're a top top team. They got top players, and uh, it was it was going to be a tough ask. We came and we had a right go. We're leaving disappointed with a sort of manner of the goal, um, and we could have perhaps caused them a few more problems if we'd have been slightly slightly better on the ball than we were today. But um, apart from apart from that, we we had a really good go. Defensive shape was good. Carried out the game plan, but. We, we switch off from a from a quick free kick, and uh, it's disappointing at this level to get to get punished for something like that is disappointing. Yeah, when you work that hard for that long, just do, do you think it was just switching it off for a few seconds? Yeah, I mean, to, obviously the free kick was given, and then there's a you have a chance. Then someone can either stand on the ball and stop them taking it quick, um, or uh, one of us, someone should switch on and stop stop the ball over the top first and foremost. So, um, you know, when you look you look back at goals, there's always three or four opportunities you have to stop them. So. Um, we're, we're disappointed that we didn't manage to, to put out the fire before they before they score, so to speak. The game could have been very different if you'd have had a penalty in the first half. What was your view of it? A bit of a push in the back on Robbie? Yeah, it looked like there was there was some contact. I, I was I was quite a long way a long way away. I, I asked the ref and he said he didn't he didn't think it was enough. Um, but yeah, I think having, having seen it again, I think if it's if it's on the halfway line, we we probably get a foul. Um, so you know, it's one, one, one of those things. You, you, sometimes you get them, sometimes you don't. Um, I think on the on the balance of play, we, we can't complain too much, but that was sort of part of the idea. We knew we weren't going to come here and go toe to toe with Chelsea at Stamford Bridge. We knew we were going to have to sacrifice sort of their their half of the pitch and sort of protect ours, and then try and counter when, when we got the opportunity. So, um, and we had a fantastic chance. We've, I think it was Seb as well, um, a really really good chance. So, um, on another day that goes in, you never know. What, what do you make of pitting your wits against some of the, the best players in the world? I know you do it every week, but you know players like Eddie Hazard today looked unplayable. Uh, every time I played against him, he's been unplayable. Um, so um, it sort of baffles, baffles me as to why he hasn't had the, the greatest time this year. I haven't seen too much of him, but um, for, for me, I've, I've played against some, some top top players, and, and he's, he's one of the best I've played against. So uh, right up there with the, with the Ronaldo's and stuff, as far as far as I can see, he's just. Um, I'm sure he'll, he'll prove that in years to come. So when you go toe to toe with with players like that, and they beat you with a goal that you're disappointed with, it must actually, uh, when you come in, when the disappointment goes away, you must feel pretty good about yourselves. Well, yes, yeah, it's, it's a it's a strange one because we've worked so hard, um, and you sort of have that that sense of pride for how hard you've worked and how, and how well you've done in general. But then the the, the overall the overall score is is one nil, and we, we go back up the road with nothing, which is. Uh, which is no good, you know. Coming away and doing well and getting nothing is is not going to keep us in the league. So um, disappointed, um, but yeah, we we had a right go. It was it was never going to be easy. Um, we go again next week. Obviously, a, a tough run. Chelsea this week and then at home against Arsenal. Uh, yeah, that's not going to be easy. Um, good thing is we're at home, so um, we'll be able to to press slightly higher and have slightly more of a go than, than we than we have done on the road. Um, but yeah, it's it's going to be a tough ask, but. Everyone has to play these teams, you know, so you get through these spells the best you can. Um, and then when the games come around, when you're playing teams in and around you or, or teams that you're sort of more sort of level with, you have a right go and pick up enough points to stay in the league. And for you personally, you've been waiting in the wings, waiting for your chance, playing in the cup game and then, you know, start at Stamford Bridge in, in the Premier League again. You must feel good to be back in the side from the start. It's nice to be back involved, yeah. Um, I've worked very hard since the 29th of June when we came back, trained, trained every day, every session. Um, to try and get to get back in the reckoning because obviously it's sort of no, no secret in the summer I was probably quite a long way down the pecking order so um, I've just got my head down worked as hard as I could just tried to take my chances in, in the Carling Cup when I got them and uh, whether it be due to sort of injuries or illnesses or whatever it may be I'm, I'm available and ready to play when asked. Well played today. Thank you.